Hello, I'm Laura. I'm a Senior Advanced Nurse Practitioner from NHS Lanarkshire. Today we're going to talk about asthma inhalers. Asthma inhalers are an essential part of managing your asthma and understanding the different types of inhalers and how they work can help you control your asthma more effectively. First, let's talk about reliever inhalers. Reliever inhalers, which are usually blue, provide quick relief from asthma symptoms. They contain medicine that relaxes the muscles around your airways, making it easier for you to breathe. However, they're only for symptom relief and they don't reduce airway inflammation in the long term. Common relievers include medicine that are safe with minimal side effects when used correctly. If you're using them often, it's a sign to get your asthma treatment reviewed. Relievers are a safe and effective medicine and have few side effects when used in larger doses. The main side effects include a mild shaking of the hand, headaches and muscle cramps. These usually only happen with higher doses of the reliever inhaler and usually only last for a few minutes. Next we have preventer inhalers. Preventer inhalers are often brown, red or orange and work continuously to calm your airways and prevent your symptoms. They're used regularly, usually daily, to keep your asthma under control. Remember to rinse your mouth after using these to prevent oral thrush and use a spacer to minimise this risk even further. Preventers are very safe at usual doses, although they can cause a range of side effects at higher doses, especially with long-term use. The main side effect of a preventer inhaler is a fungal infection of the mouth or the throat. You can develop a hoarse voice and a sore throat as well. For some, a higher dose of the preventer or additional treatments may be needed. Long-acting reliever inhalers provide up to 12 hours of relief and are used alongside preventer inhalers for around-the-clock control. However, they should not be used alone due to the risk of masking worsening asthma symptoms. Combination inhalers are sometimes a recommendation treatment for patients as well. If you have questions about your inhalers or asthma management, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare team if you have already been diagnosed. For everything else, information is available at nhsinform.scot. The right information and treatment plan can make all the difference in living well with asthma.